Hey, Crafty Kate, this is Angel Holt, Angel Holt Designs. I am still snowed in. Um, we're, in fact, here in a little while, we're going to be getting another ice storm on top of what we already have. All of my deliveries of my inks and everything that y'all have ordered have still not been delivered because of the weather here in Tennessee. The South has truly been bombarded with uh, winter weather, and I am ready for spring. I am ready to have my roads completely ice free um because i have i'm just i'm done with the cold uh people in the south i i'm one that cannot handle the cold i don't like the whole cold at all so so while i'm stopped up in here in my room which uh crafters love to be caved in into their craft rooms which i enjoy uh i'm going to be teaching you a cinnabar style uh on this cross now this cross is a wood cross and you can purchase these at creatingwithdetailstore.com for only two dollars and 99 cents and i have pulled out a bunch of different little things that i am going to glue onto here um so um everything is pretty much organized for the people that seem to think they cannot uh stand the clutter or the clinking or the the rustling about as they would put it um i'm going to try to make sure i'm not rustling too much um but you can't please everybody so um sit back enjoy the music and enjoy the process and i will pop back in um for any next steps
Okay, uh, the the cross is finished, as you can see. A beautiful piece of bling in the center with a really beautiful chunky um, dangle. Um, I used browns and purples and blues and turquoises, all in the um, Lindy Snap Gang family. Um, I will go over with you these colors because so that you can have them um, wrote down. And I used auto, I would say afternoon delight denim. I used Tiffany Lou Blue. Frosty Forest Green, Tahitian Poppy Teal, Delphinium Turquoise, T-Bird Turquoise, Witches Potion Purple, French Lilac Violet, In the moon shadows, I used Tawny Turquoise, Van Dyke Sepia. And the last one I used here is Tainted Love Teal. So I've just done a mixture of those Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and uh, made this beautiful piece here. Now, I am going to create a canvas. Uh, for this piece to set on and I have a Prima Dolly stencil here and I'm just going to use some uh, molding paste and I'm just going to do this in various spots nothing you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I don't want it to be. Um, so, we are seriously getting bombarded with winter weather. I cannot, we're talking a week and a half of this stuff that I'm so ready for it to be over. Okay. Let's see here. All I'm doing is putting this all over in certain areas. Okay. I'm going to put it right there. So just pick you out a stencil and the first thing you're going to do onto this is a 12 by 12 canvas and all you're going to do is just use your molding paste um, to put your design on there. And uh, okay. Alright, and we're going to put one here. There we go. And we're going to put one here, and that will be it. So, what I want you to do, I'm going to dry this with my heat gun to set it, and then I'm going to start spraying with a whole new color, um, color combo. And, um, after I get done with that, I will tell you those colors. They are all from Lindy Stamp Gang. So, stay tuned. All right, see you in a few. Okay, this is dry. Now, the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to add texture even more. And this is drywall, or not dry, yeah, drywall tape. Um, and it's just in this, uh, you can get it at local Home Depot or Lowe's or any home, uh, hardware store. And I'm just going to lay a couple of pieces down. 
Um, this stuff does have a little bit of stickiness to it, um, but you will have to um, adhere it down with like Mod Podge or stuff like that um, for it to stay, remainder of it to stay down. Well, where did it go? I hate when it does that. Don't y'all? I think it's the most annoying thing. Well, um, I'm going to be adding a little bit more of this because I'm not going to spend my video doing that. And also, I'm going to add a couple of pieces of cheesecloth. I love cheesecloth cloth for texture. And we're just going to separate it out like that. And just lay it down. So I'm going to continue this process and then I'm going to start spraying.
Okay, um, lots and lots and lots of layering, as you saw in this uh, building of uh, the background. Um, lots of adding on the, the sprays and everything. And I'm going to go over with you the colors that I used. Um, these are all from Lindy Stamp Gang, as was the ones for the cross. Um, I used golden sleigh bells. Uh, I didn't use that one. Uh, fuzzy navel peach, Kenna lily burnt orange. A lot that I used um, to get the darker color was the Jolly Roger red. It's like a really orangey um, red orange. I used marigold yellow orange. I used a moon shadow called burnished brass. Um, no, I didn't use that one. I used Yellow Rose of Texas, Bonjour Butter, and Orange Cream Sickle. Um, lots of orange and yellows to build this. So the last thing I'm going to do is get out my Inca Gold. I used the Silver Inca Gold on the cross. I'm going to use a touch of gold on the background. And I'm just going to pull some from my brush here. And just with a brushing motion like this like if you want to lighten up a little bit of the darker areas around the cross um, that was a black gesso that I put around the cross um, just simply brushing it in and then using my sponge to blend out the color. And as you see, I am just barely brushing, very, very dry brushing on the gold because I don't want it to overpower anything. And I'm just going in uh, different areas. So, if you have any questions about any of the product you saw me use, uh, leave me a question in the comments section below. I will have a link to Creating with Detail Store um, in the comments uh, in the description below for all of you to be going and order you. Uh, some Inca Gold products and to also order the cross. Um, but it's just all about bringing out your creativity. There is no wrong way to spray. There is no wrong way to do any of this um, because You're just having fun. Now, to add a little shadow effect on here, I'm going to add some gold. Just right down. A little more gold on this side. To kind of give it a, uh, like the light. You know. Play with it. And just brush it in like that. Okay, here. There we go. There we go. Looks good. I think it turned out pretty good, if you ask me. Just kind of put 
There we go. And if you want, you can go in and put a little more silver tone um, to your cross if you want, as like right here. Just a little bit more. Like that. Um, I used E6000 to adhere the cross down, so um, there we go. All right, that's it, ladies. That, my friends, is an altered cross on a altered canvas. Um, this is a 12 by 12 canvas, and uh, so I hope you are inspired to create your own cross with your own um, your own uh, ideas and everything and uh, again if you have any questions just let me know um, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you and like right here I have just a little bit of that um, cheesecloth hanging off so I'm just going to clip it away um so until next crafty project ladies i hope this uh, inspires you to think outside your box uh please stay for photos and until see you then bye bye